Uh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to La Platica. Uh, to let you know that today's video is sponsored by who, Josh? Oh, Seat Geek. Seat Geek, I'm a freak when I buy my tickets. Number one rated ticketing app on the app store. Look, we love Seat Geek. We genuinely love Seat Geek. We use Seat Geek. Anytime we're trying to go to concerts, events, sporting, whatever it is, Seat Geek is our to go application. People say apps, I say application. I like to say application. It makes me feel a little bit more uh, mature. Yeah, exactly. Uh, with over 70,000 events on the daily. Damn. Who are, we um, Who are we talking? I'm talking about Dodger games. Damn. Um, I just got Peso Pluma tickets. Double P. Double P. Um, Drake's about to be on tour. Oh, uh, you know I'm using SeatGeek. And you know what I like about SeatGeek? They show you how the seats look. I love that. I love that. And on top of that, they show you like a rating system. Yeah. Like red dot means bad. Yeah. Hey, green dot, what that mean? I think it means good. Yeah, go for green. Also, I really want to let you guys know because this is really important to me. The other day I bought Dodger tickets and I couldn't go. You actually get credit refunded to you, your full amount of credit, 72 hours before the event. Wow. And I was like, okay, this is perfect because now I can use this for when I can go or yeah. another concert. It's very simple. It's easy to use. I love SeatGeek. I love SeatGeek. La Platica no caps to receive $20 off SeatGeek. Did is you that know that? Are you sure? That's a, that sounds like way too good. La to Platica right. in all caps. $20 off your first ticketing purchase. My man. Enjoy today's episode. 98, let's get it. Copy, copy. Am no, I good? No fax, no printer. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's get it. Uh huh. What's up? Let's get it. What's up? Hey, do you say booth or do you say both? Both. All right, just making sure. Just making sure, my boy. Uh, I'm actually Ooh, excited huh? to film with you today. It has, it's been a while since it's just been us two. It's just, things have been a little different and I'm tired of kind of talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we always say, like, oh, sorry, you know, back mm -hmm. to Mondays, but. Mm -hmm. um, we're not back on Monday. We're not. But we've been, for everybody back at home, we've been filming on days that we normally don't film. Correct. We normally film Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But recently we've been filming Thursdays or Fridays, right. you know, to get them up on <laughs> Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. <laughs> um, so it's been a little difficult. It's just crazy because like once you start doing that, it, yeah. it really takes you out your yeah. out your rut. Cause out the groove. Yeah, you our, threw up the Emperor's groove. <laughs> our formula. Uh, the Emperor's groove. <laughs> new groove, but yeah. Close oh, enough. new groove with the llama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good movie. Good movie. Um, we, me, and Josh have a formula. Yeah, like we can probably film every day, but yeah. that's kind of hard because. We have our own lives too. Right. And we've kind of formulated like, okay, filming once a week, doing this, doing that. Mm -hmm. We've, we've came up with a way where we can do it on Mondays all the time. Yeah. But lately from the wedding, wedding planning after not wanting to do anything. You yeah. Know, do, and then just, wedding just, blues. Yeah. Miscellaneous stuff after that. It's been a little bit kind of like, okay, well this day, okay, well this day. Yeah. Nevertheless, we've been posting weekly. Mm hmm. Hmm. I will say that we have not missed a week. No, and I will is, not. I will not. Dare I say commendable. Dare I say I will not. You will not. Uh, Mondays have sucked lately, though. And I've been getting a lot of the DMs saying like, hey, man, Josh, I, like, know. I, I don't mean to put this on you. You know what I mean? But like my Mondays have sucked, you know, and I need them. I need you to unsuckify them. Ooh. I need you to unsuckify them. So you're going to unsuckify. Well, I mean, that's what we're here for to unsuckify their Mondays. Yeah. The thing is, is that Mondays in you know, in real life, they actually do kind of suck. Eh, they're pretty mid. They're, they're, I say they're, mid. Yeah, they don't suck. They're just mid. They're mid. So our, sorry, I'm just like fixing. Get it together, yeah. Sebas. Um, they are mid. They're mid. So our job is to make them great. Right. Um, because number one Latino podcast in the world. I've never said that though. I thought you were about to say that. I've never said that though. I was like, man, he hasn't been on his like game lately because he hasn't been uploading on Monday. Maybe he's about to say it. I've never said that though. I'm gonna spit my gum out because I feel like. <laughs> Put it underneath the table. Oh, yeah. uh, damn, too late. It's in the cozy. Um, yeah, so that's why I feel bad. Yeah. And I feel like Mondays are a perfect day to upload. It's yep. starting off the week correctly with our words of wisdom, St our perspectives, yeah. our comments. Come on now. Our words of the day. Let's go, Reverend. What else? You're you're amazing go when you Google like um, quotes. Quotes. It's not Google, dude. It's Pinterest. <laughs> Just expose myself. <laughs> Listen, I'm a quote a sore. 
I'm a quotasaur. Quotasaurus. Quotasaurus. I love quotes. I'm a quote guy. Big quote guy. I'm going to get a quote on my uh, as a tattoo. That's going to say big, big quote, quote guy. <laughs> Quoted by Josh Leva. BQG. Yeah. Like, what, what does a BQG mean? Big, big quote, quote guy. guy. <laughs> um, yes. So yeah, anyways, that's back to uh, normal conversation. Welcome to episode 98. 98. Of La Platica. Woo. My name is Sebastian Robles. Woo. The Josh Leva. Woo! And we are not only the, the host, but yeah. the host and them boys. We didn't bite. Of La Platiquita Ma. We didn't bite. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, we're about to hit 100. We're two episodes away from 100. I know, man. It feels good, don't it? Damn, did you ever think you'd be at 100? No. <laughs> 100 is a lot. I thought that I'd be at 100, but like we did it pretty fast. We did geez. it fast. And you, you know how like a, <laughs> you know how a lot of people like they they have like podcasts and stuff, and then there would be like hundredth episode, but it's like season two or yeah 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 yeah, yeah like yeah. we've never given ourselves a season nor a break nor a break. We don't take breaks. We just break records. Um, does that make sense to do that? Yeah. Yeah, it does i get it i understand it everybody has like their own way of doing podcasting you know what i mean like some people want to do seasons of, mm, i think it's fine um, i just want to keep counting yeah i do too i like i like it just keep it rolling so no seasons mm, okay well the reason why i don't want to talk down on it because if we ever do <laughs> we come back with season two you know what i mean take a little break be like hey season two we back at it but i will say this i don't think we should ever do that i think we can keep it rolling we okay. just got to double double down, double time. Yeah. Uh, you know that most podcasts don't last more. I think it's like 80% of podcasts started don't go past five episodes. And then it just keeps getting shorter and shorter. That you Googled. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't Pinterest that one. That's straight from the Googs. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's not a lot of episodes. Yeah, it's really hard, bro. So what I'm trying to say is like, you know, kudos to us for hit. We're about to hit a hundred. Yeah. I'll look up the exact number, but it's pretty high. It's like shocking. Like, wow. And I get it because podcasting is it's a. Uh, I don't want to say it's hard because it's not hard, you know. But um, it 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 is it is challenging, yeah. right? Would you agree? Uh, when it comes down to the filming, the topics, the guests, yeah. the editing, the posting. You know the promotions it's like a whole thing it's a full-time job in a sense for me i think the top three most hardest things about being on a, or having a podcast is keeping the same energy really yeah that's uh, that would you say it's probably the most challenging for part? me yeah top three is to energy keeping the energy keeping high? your same character not that you're that not that you're acting like a fake person that's such a gemini thing to say dude oh my what god you're really? such a gemini my my oh dude you're cursing me chill out no it's actually a good thing look I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you right here g look yeah put me put my <laughs> you want to say anything you got something to say sim sim you got something to say sim sim mr sim sim don't cover my face now yeah dude tighten it up g oh shit oh like that like that wait no this way but yeah, that's such a Gemini thing for you to say, bro. Because you're a two faced. You're a two faced son of a gun. You're such a Gemini, dude. No, I'm not. You're giving me Gem Gemini vibes right now. Um, so don't shy away from the topic. Say it. Say what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I don't you know what I was talking about. Oh, your character, oh, yeah, your yeah, second yeah. persona yeah. as a human. Yeah, it, it, I, it, yeah, technically, yeah. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Since I love the podcast so much, yeah. I want to be the best version of myself on a podcast. I don't want to be like, I don't want to bring my problems from my house or things that are going on in my life or, you know, if there if there's things that are going on in the world that might be negative, you know, my job, I feel like is to brighten up your day mm -hmm. somehow, some way. I don't know how that, I don't know. Me neither. I don't know how you do that either. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's very difficult to keep the same energy. I agree. Okay. So that's one. You said three. I want to hear all your three. This oh, is you want to hear all of them? Yeah. Yeah. What, like, what do you struggle with as a podcaster? So that's one. It's, 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 <laughs> the face it's, that you just gave me right now, you're like, fuck. <laughs> um, energy, I like that. I, I can understand it's, that. It's energy. It's, it's your character. It's, you know, like, I don't know if like, um, how can I like put it into perspective? Like, No, I get it, dude. Like being able to it? deliver, to be, be yeah. giving it a hundred. You 100. have to deliver. Like, yeah. I'm not going to come in like, yeah, hey, what do you want to talk about? You got to be on. Yeah, you got, exactly. That, you got to be on. Okay, that's that's good. You have to be on. Mm -hmm. To me, that's, that's probably the hardest one for me. Mm-hmm. 
And it's not that I'm saying that I like, oh, I don't, you know, there's some days where I don't want to do it. No, luckily yeah. I have such a great host. That we're flexible. That No, that you you make me, you know, want to talk or, yeah. you know, want to have a great time here. You're not somebody like, oh, fuck, don't get that going to stay being chill. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, yeah. But also like also, uh, when you have days where we both have days where we're like, yo, we're not feeling it today. Let's just push yeah. this tomorrow. And yeah. having the flexibility yeah. helps yeah. a lot. 100%. Because imagine if we didn't have a choice, like we had to film on Tuesday, seven o'clock, no matter what. You're not always gonna get that same kind of consistency. It's harder to kind of manage that. Yeah. Um, my second is probably the whole production itself. Mm. It's it's something, I've done it a lot. So it's from- Can I challenge you a little bit though? You have wanted to do it yourself. Because no, 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 yeah, yeah. we have the resources to get it done. 100%. With, with help. 100%. I'm not saying that I don't like to do it. I'm saying that it takes a certain human that really loves what he does to do all this. Yeah. And it's not hard, but it takes a lot of time. I No, I agree. I from agree. the filming, from the, I was going to say, I was going to say from the coming, but like coming here. What? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, dude. You good, bro? Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> uh, uh, Sicko, dude. <laughs> from getting over here, um, from setting everything up, yeah, from making sure everything is is done right. All the memory cards that are on the videos, all the memory cards that are on the audio mixers, um, everything has to be plugged correctly. You know, all the HDMI. I mean, I, I you know, I can geek out, but it's it, there's a lot. Yeah, and I don't have a team like that. Because I'm selfish and I want to do everything by myself. True. But, and I like it. True. You know, it'll, it'll take a special person to be my partner. Yeah. In this. Um, after making sure you grab everything correctly, making sure you take everything home, making sure you import everything perfectly, making sure you import it back into another software, whether that be Adobe Premiere, whether that be Final Cut Pro, whether that be, I don't know, you probably use, what's the... Adobe Express? No, the other one that comes on your Mac. Oh, uh, movie? iMovie, 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 iMovie yeah. I've never used it, but some people do. Yeah, the iMovie, so putting Captain, it on that Splice. or whatever you're using, you yeah. know, one hour episode will take me two or two and a half hours to complete the whole thing. And that's with importing. That's with doing everything. That's with editing it. That's with making it look perfectly done. Putting the LUTs that I like to put, putting, making sure the audio is necessary, syncing all the cameras. What's number one, dude? Audio. We get it. Okay, I'm boring. Jesus. I'm boring you now. You I'm boring are. You all now. this tech talk is freaking driving me insane, dude. Okay. We get it. You're a nerd. Nerd. Uh, and the third one, I don't, uh, shoot, I don't know. I topics oh yeah that, that honestly that was one of my top three it's 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 topics and you know what i think it's with topics with us we tend to be we we overthink right we want to over deliver so we can talk about anything but we really want to make yeah. sure that we're coming with like dare i say heat dare you say you know what i mean like yeah. we want to we want to come with, yeah. with good topics things that are interesting yeah and, and you know captivating 100 percent. i think me and you have a have this little magic that we can just go back and forth and yeah. anything that we say is going to be decent enough to be a good thing yeah right sure um but yeah there's an importance there's uh you know you want to respect the podcast as well so you want to mm -hmm. talk about things that are that are mm -hmm. you know that people back at home would maybe like yeah um but yeah luckily for us it's not that hard no right yeah but it was very hard for me in the beginning the first episodes what do i do what do i talk about yeah you know current events this and that whoop de wop like that's hard especially when i don't have anybody to talk to yeah to bounce because you gotta yeah. you gotta carry it uh-huh so yeah i would say topics what about you uh topics is one just like i was saying earlier it's not so much like coming up with topics it's about coming up with like good topics that yeah. we can talk about i feel like we've been really lucky where like things have just kind of led Lent, what is it like handed themselves to us right like we've had like really good guests we've had like really fun like games that we've played that just kind of create it to be like a little more effortless you yeah. know but sometimes i do i'm like ooh, i start thinking about it. i'm like okay what i'm the kind of person bro as soon as we finish the episode i'm like what's next week gonna look like yeah. i can't just like sit in the moment of like oh that was a great episode i get over it quick i'm like okay what's what's next and that's not always a great thing you know yeah. but uh so that kind of i feel that a little bit you know uh that's one uh two i would say scheduling sometimes i think like that could be like a mm -hmm. bit tricky and stuff that's probably like a you know challenging part 
Um, it is actually. Yeah, it, and luckily we have the flexibility, but sometimes it can be like this week was kind of challenging. Like, yeah, we're Thursday. This is gonna go up tomorrow, right? Friday, so it's like a quick turnaround. And it's challenging because you want to be consistent, right? So yeah, being consistent comes with challenges like scheduling. Because mm -hmm. if you can't schedule correctly, you're not gonna be consistent. Yeah. that was my problem when I didn't have anybody, and I would just invite you know other guests yeah yeah that aren't host yeah so i'm gonna say for the last one i'm gonna just take it to take it a different different direction that we've been taking it um the question was like what is like the most challenging part about like podcasting right that was yeah. like, kind of like the top three yeah. things right this isn't super challenging but uh i think like when we have guests like just making sure like feeling them out because a lot of the times especially for me uh i have never met the guests before right yeah so i'm like I'm really trying to gauge them. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to make sure they feel comfortable. I'm trying to make sure I ask the right questions and stuff like that. I'm looking over our special guest that we have today, Josh Simpson. You know, I gotta make sure he feel all right. You feeling good? You looking a little yellow? You looking a little pale, my boy? Uh, but you see what I'm saying? So I think that yeah. that's not. It's not so much challenging, but I'm just trying to take it like a different thing that becomes. Um, it's just something that like you know can be. It, uh, I it, don't know what the right word is for this. It like, is challenging, guys. But, imagine you meeting a. a um, a new person in your life yeah and the challenge is make him your best friend you yeah. meet in one hour hopefully 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 yeah hopefully but the challenge is make this person your best friend yeah for the most part our guests that we've had all phenomenal either we know them already uh, there's a lot of people that we just met them but at the end of the day they've been amazing people amazing. It's, they've been so easy to kick it off you yeah know? yeah but i've i know other like people who who run podcasts and run shows like this and they tell me these stories like, yo, like I did this person and wasn't blah, blah, great blah, and it was b bad. Or even the vice versa. We've had some of our guests talk to us about other podcast experiences that they've had and they haven't had the greatest experience. I think I've heard that actually more. more. Yeah. You know what we haven't had? And I don't think we ever will. Or maybe we will. I don't never know. Uh, somebody walk off. Like walk off the set. Dang, I feel like, so I'm tired bad. of this grandpa. Like fucking just storm off. Like, you know. And then we're like, that's too damn bad. <laughs> Get your bitch ass out of here. Bye -bye. <laughs> I love how you were waiting to say that. What? I'm tired of this grandpa. <laughs> You've been waiting to say that because nah, you, bro. Ex you executed it so well. It's to me, my boy. I'm a podcaster, dude. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that actually more. But yeah, people like storming off. Yeah. Some people do. No, it. no, no. People, po uh, podcasters um guests or people oh. or invitados that are say like yeah that th those people like weren't really my vibe like the people are actually hosting the podcast yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so yeah i will say is, i say one of our strong suits is with guests we put our all effort into making them feel comfortable anything we can do to provide like a, a safe space um you know what i mean yeah. like we we just really create that environment and i love that about us bro like from the moment they enter the building it's like we're there to serve them. We're like, we're grateful for them to yeah. be here. Uh, and I think that's like, and, and I, that's kind of shown in the experience that they've like had 100%. on our podcast. Yeah. yeah. I also love like probably one of my favorite compliments is not somebody actually compliment. Well, they are, but it's kind of like, oh, I talked to, you know, I talked to what's her name and she was on your show and she just said how much you guys were so cool how it was her favorite podcast, how it was this or that. Yeah. Like, to me, hearing that from like a secondary person about the primary person yes. that was here, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Like the behind fact, the curtain. Behind the curtain type yeah. of compliment. Like yeah. I, I love hearing that. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, what else yeah. is that? They said that? What else yeah. is that? <laughs> no, it, it's cool. So yeah, yeah uh, episode what, 98? 98, my boy. 98. 98, man. Yep. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or yes, here sir. on the wonderful world of YouTube. Once again, I am Sebastian, Josh. We are the hosts of the La Go! number one Latino podcast. Latino podcast in the world. I've never said it. You now, can Google it though. Today we want to do something a little different, right? No, actually, actually, Josh has something to say. I do. I'm just <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do, bro. I got an exciting, 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 I exciting can't announcement. Wait to hear it. You know it. <laughs> I can't you, wait to hear you, it. You're gonna hear it out of my mouth. Um, Salud, Te Salud just dropped a brand new energy flavor, energy plus focus. A lot of people forget the focus part, but this isn't just provide energy. This is a two in one benefit product. We're gonna give you the energy, and guess what? We're gonna give you the focus, my boy. Is that you easy? In? Are you focused? Because I know you're drinking the focus. It's that easy. It's that easy. This new flavor we have, Pepino Limon, is honestly a a top hitter. Uh, I believe we have, this is our, uh, we have uh, guava, guayaba, I'm sorry. Guayaba. Uh, piña mango, 
uh, fresandia and now cucumber lime, pepino limon. This is our fourth energy flavor. Um, fresandia. Yeah. Too. This flavor was originally our hydration flavor that we had, and it was such a big hit that we were like, yo, we got to make it into an energy flavor, just like we did with Jamaica. I forgot about Jamaica. I didn't even mention Jamaica. Jamaica, too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyways, we got a new flavor. Really excited about this one. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to try this, highly suggest it. Uh, it's delicious and nutritious. And I'm not just saying that. It really is. I'm drinking it right now. Um, but in celebration of the new flavor that we just launched, we are doing a... Um, how do I say this casually? We're doing a Tulum giveaway for, for three nights. Another giveaway? Yeah. We're going to take uh, How two How many people, nights? Three nights stay for two three people. Nights. One person wins. They can take a guest. You know, we're going to give them a thousand bucks. Uh, your supply, Salud. Um, what else am I missing? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a whole experience. We're going to put them in a nice spot. It just, I, it's, and all they have to do is like click the link, enter the email, and they're in. I don't and know. that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Was that too casual? Should I have like? I mean, well, I mean, it's casual when you guys do it all <laughs> the time. Do it all the time, dude. I love doing the giveaways. I honestly, uh, like, a big part of the brand is obviously the support from everybody. So, giving, uh, being able to give people an opportunity to win such a cool experience is like one of my favorite parts of like owning the brand, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Literally guys, it's so easy to enter. Just click the link. Uh, all you have to do is literally enter your email. There's uh, other ways to like accumulate more points, uh, but it's all it's all on the website. Click the link, yeah. you win. Yeah. And you go, you could win. And for the, I know I've asked this before, but for this giveaway, can I enter as well? Or is that not a thing? Oh, you want to get in the giveaway? I want, no, I want to, to, um, enter the giveaway yeah. so i can go to tulum oh you oh so you want to enter the giveaway and then you want you want to potentially win the giveaway that's that's it's that is that possible mm. or am i like excluded how do i put this nicely fuck no <laughs> <laughs> how do i put this kindly fuck no okay <laughs> no bro <laughs> you cheat right what do you think i'm running here uh, this is what? legit. I, I know, like, I'm like, you know, <laughs> I like salute. Well, I don't know. I, I want to be <laughs> part of it, too. Listen, man, you can't win. All right. You can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I'm going to make it clear, too. Anybody who's associated with me, anybody oh, who's hey. friends or family, they cannot win. Damn. This is this is purely for for everybody else. So if, even if I fall, here's a little like inside information. If I'm I follow of you, you right on Instagram, now. you cannot win. I'm scared of you right now. You should be. I feel like nos regañaste wow. hard right wow. now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make this clear. I'm going to make this clear. If I know you. Don't hit me up. Or don't even tell me. Yeah. That's you funny. you could enter. You could enter, but you ain't going to win. I'll figure it out. Gee. <laughs> I'll figure How it do out. I put this respectfully? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Playboy. You ain't gonna win. Not today. I don't know what's funnier. <laughs> your delivery or the fact that you laugh at your own joke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at you because, yo, what am I supposed to... Yeah, when people say that, like, yo, you laugh at your own jokes, let's just say you're laughing at what I'm supposed to be like... <laughs> <laughs> I just said some fire-ass shit and I'm just supposed to be like... <laughs> <laughs> watching you laugh i'm joining you in this moment dude <laughs> should i just tell him bro tell him what nothing man <laughs> tell him what fuck no <laughs> <laughs> anyways bro sorry yeah shoot okay <laughs> amazing giveaway it's bro. gonna be great bro so yeah don't don't click the link sorry, you don't click the link nah, nobody I else I, I promise you i won't <laughs> <laughs> uh, so everybody back at home make sure you click the link we'll put the link in the in the description down yeah, below sir. um how exciting dude super Tulum, exciting. you were just there so you know how beautiful it is out there yeah. that's amazing bro. that's what we were doing we were shooting promo for the giveaway if you oh, go wow. on the instagram you'll see the promo video that we shot that was the reason why we were there it looked it was, insane it's in dude Tulum is crazy it was my first time there beautiful yeah it's beautiful also <laughs> also <laughs> la platica in all caps still gives you 10 percent off your order yes it does you said it best brother i always i need to say that all the time because we keep forgetting yeah yeah la platica in all caps gives you 10 percent off your entire order correct yeah, absolutely yeah yeah so make sure like when you enter the giveaway if you run along salute salute 
<laughs> That's the new slogan. Salud. <laughs> Make sure when you buy to check out, it's La Platica in all caps. Yes, so, sir. Yeah. How exciting, man. It's dope, um, man. It's dope. Let's go into a quick break. But yeah. before I do that, yeah. <clears throat> we're doing something a little different today, which I thought is, we've been actually kind of wanting to do this. Yes. So we've been wanting to do like a topic where it's kind of like we talk about like pop culture slash like current events that are going on. Things that we all see every day on social media. And give our POV. Things that go viral, things that are very interesting. Did you see this video? Did you see what Fulanito said? I don't want to say it's like, because I, I will never, you know, like I will never like try to be like a drama channel. Yeah. It's just, it's what we're talking about. It's just normal shit. And yeah, maybe we'll say a little cheese, man. Yeah, sure. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, and, and even hot takes too, because even some of the stuff that I got, some hot takes. Oh, you got shit. Like I'm, I'm, I might stir the pot. Oh, wow. Okay. Yo, they, yeah. Shit might get stirred. Shit might get stirred. Yo, here's interesting. I'm, I'm coming in a little hot right now. Uh, uh -oh. People, never mind. Never and let mind. me make it clear. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'll, I know you and you're my cousin, <laughs> fuck no. I'm talking to you, Pepe. Don't hit me up. Stop blowing me up. You're not going to win. Anyways. <laughs> Look, watch the podcast when yeah. I edit it. Yeah. When you first said, and let me make this clear. I was scared when you said that. <laughs> you said it very like, aggressive. Was that a little stern? It was, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't stern or it wasn't aggressive. Okay. It was like. I'm about to say something that I've been wanting to say for a while. Yeah, I've been wanting to say this because everybody be hitting me up like, yo, I entered the giveaway, like literally like friends, family. And I'm like, OK, eh? I'm going to help you, Susie. Mijo. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're going to yeah. do that. So I think it, that's going to be fun. I have yeah. some stuff I want to talk about that I know everybody here, uh, me and Josh and everybody back at home, we've all been watching it. Yeah. So I think it'll be fun to talk about it. And I, we want to do that more often, yes. too, because I feel like it's important to talk about it and give our perspective, you know, mm -hmm. it's cool. I love it. I'm ready. Cool. So we'll be right back. Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Okay. No. Uh no. -huh. Uh -huh. Say something. Pretend it's you. <clears throat> we'll be right back after these short messages. Thanks, Josh. Damn, Josh, you're good, bro. You're gonna take my job. Shit. <laughs> We're back with another episode of La Platica. LP in the building. La Plastica. Whoa, dude, but nothing about us is fake. Ooh, I like Come on that. Now. So I wanted to actually do something with you right now, um, Josh, and I wanted you to help me because I want it to be for everybody back at home. Um, What's up, dog? Talk to me. I want everybody right now to pause this video. Mm -hmm. Click pause it. Actually, no, not yet, because I got to tell you what to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, the people? Yeah. Oh, I thought me. <laughs> the people? <laughs> I want you guys to go in the mirror and just look at yourself and say, I'm the shit. Whoa. That's deep. I'm the shit. Yeah. So pause this video and go do that. Literally, go. Oh, and and send us a video of you doing it. Don't don't talk right now. <clears throat> this is a pause button. They're doing it right now. Damn. This is your conscious speaking. Damn, you fine. You hear him? They said it. All right, cool. I'm the shit. Is that what you've been doing lately? I've been doing that lately. Damn. Just one quick take. Just one, like, there's mirrors everywhere. <laughs> I'm just walking. I'm the shit. Just do that. You know what I love about it that? It goes bro? a long way. I love that you said that because a lot of people are so, like, there's some, like, thing about people being like against hyping themselves because they don't want to come across like conceited or like arrogant or anything like that right but if you cannot love yourself how do you expect others to love you if you cannot have the confidence of a you know top top tier person how do you expect others to have confidence in you you said it best g you know what i'm saying you said so it best. i love that you said that because yeah it sounds so like 
you know, simple, like, go tell yourself your shit, but, like, really go remind yourself, hey, you, you're dope. You're amazing. You're incredible. Dare I say impeccable. Dare you say. Where my Coke Z at? How many, how many have you drank already? This is my second one. Probably my third one today. Damn. Hey, shout out Aspartame. <laughs> that way you're because the morning in the morning your hat was black just aspartame yeah shit turning my whole uh, my whole vibe red because when you woke up your hat was black mm -hmm. and now it's red have you noticed that the coke bottle looks almost like the original coke bottle looks almost identical to this except for what it doesn't say zero sugar well that that too and also the writing is white other than that and that's saying coke zero it's almost identical really and i heard they did that strategically to like I don't know. There was some sort of more <laughs> <laughs> wise words from a decent man. I heard they did that. Hey, Doug, chill listen, out on the aspartame, bro. Listen, listen. For marketing purposes, there was some. I, I'm gonna come back with this because when I found out about this, I was like, "Yo, it's kind of crazy." It's all like, for marketing purposes. I think they want to confuse the public with like just making it like not like you're, you're not. I, it's not um, separated from Coca Cola. It's the same product. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus like a lot of like. Uh, like like Coke, uh, Pepsi, like Pepsi Zero looks like completely different than the actual Pepsi bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like they're trying to like remove yeah. that. I don't know, bro. This is market. There's millions of billions of dollars into this shit. All right, I'm only here. To hit, I'm only here to drink the aspartame. I'm fine. Ever come at me like that again? <laughs> Two things: lay off the aspartame <laughs> and get off TikTok. I love TikTok. <laughs> no, there's this guy named. Sorry, 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 sorry. There's this guy named Food Theory on youtube he's crazy bro he does these like dope deep dive videos into like food really? um whether it be like why does the sprite taste better at mcdonald's oh, um yeah. is like is coke zero like is aspartame these diet cokes bad for you but he does like deep dives dude like i he, think i've seen the guy yeah actually. he's sick that's how i found out about that whole thing yeah yeah well they say that about coke with mcdonald's no sprite it's the oh maybe coke too but the sprite apparently that shit like hits no it for sure does no yeah. but it's it's an actual thing that the coca-cola from mcdonald's is a lot better. better it's way better than it is and it's because mcdonald's has the longest one of the longest contracts with coca-cola so back in the day they used to import coca-cola mm -hmm. products and i'm assuming obviously coca-cola in huge steel barrels right and the steel i might be wrong i don't know if it's steel or something else but it's it doesn't I've worked at Jack. I've worked at a lot of fast food restaurants, and my, my, a lot of the a lot of the sodas, the syrups, and and they come in bags and then in a cardboard mm -hmm. little box or literally. Like so they get hit with the sun, all that stuff. I don't know. I'm sure. No, during the yeah, transport. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But at the end of the day, the steel keeps it more refreshing or more fresh, crispy. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. It's a thing. Wait, what? What are you saying though? So McDonald's does it differently. They do. It's confirmed. That's why the Coke at McDonald's is a lot better than the Coke anywhere else because the Coke at McDonald's c comes, the soda comes in huge steel barrels. Versus coming in a plastic in bag a in a box. They come in a plastic bag in a box. and in a box. Mm. And then you hook up a hose to that. Yeah. And then, so that's how that's how the Coke comes. Coca-Cola, that is. I also heard that McDonald's uses bigger straws than other fast food restaurants. They do have bigger they straws. They have bigger straws. They're like a little bit less bigger than the boba ones. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. Do you like boba, by the way? I do. I, I, I love boba. You a big boba, boba guy? <laughs> B, B, G. Big boba G. guy. I'm a big boba guy. No, I'm not, like I'm not a big guy. boba guy. I no, do no. like boba. How do you like your boba? I don't like boba because I hate saying boba. Boba's you want to go get boba? Let's go get boba. No. Hey, you like um, you like uh, uh, you like Thai iced tea? Thai iced tea is the best. With bro. boba. With boba. That's what I get. Yeah, Thai iced tea with boba. Thai 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 tea. Thai tea. Thai tea iced tea. Thai tea iced tea with boba. That's, I love it. That's what I get. I love, I love it. Yeah. And Thai tea has a lot of caffeine. Does it really? Oh yeah. Oh wow. It's tea. Food. So maybe I shouldn't have six a day. <laughs> so you like feed out. <laughs> Yeah, I either get Thai tea or um, taro or the mm. OG milk tea. I don't really I like milk tea. swindle in any, any other flavors. Mm. But yeah, boba's good. Boba's good. Yeah, boba's really good. And, and it's a, it's like a big thing. Did you know that it's just, fried balls of dough? Did you know that's what boba is? Nah. I promise you. No, look no. it up. Google it. 
it's, Google not, it's it. not even like it's not even like scientifically possible that it can be fried first and then turn into that. I promise you, bro, it's dough balls. They're fried dough balls. No, it's not. Can we get into the topic? Can you look it up real quick? Can you look at uh, just say what is boba on google.com? www.google.com. Look it up. You don't want to? You want to move on to the next topic? Yeah. All right, just saying. That is. <laughs> All right, fine. No, no, I'm going to do it for look you it guys because everybody back at home They're is curious. probably going to be in the description in the comments down below like you should have looked it up. You should have looked okay, it up. Fine, I will. Um, Therefore, Josh What do right. I say? What do just I say? say? What is boba? What is Or how is boba made? How, how is boba made? 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 Just say how boba made. Google knows what it's doing. It's bubble tea. Okay. When making bubba balls. Go ahead now. You take tapioca, tapioca starch. Let me say it again. The way you make boba, Go how is now. boba made? Go ahead now. Speak on it. When making boba balls, yeah. you take tapioca starch. Mm -hmm. Add it to boiling water. You fry that hoe. That's not frying. And knead them. It says knead them. I don't know what kneading is. It, it means fry. It's K N E A D them until they reach a dough like consistency. Hmm. Once the tapioca is shaped into little balls, it is added into boiling water with brown sugar added to it and cooked for 30 minutes until it's ready. Basically what I said, my boy. No, you didn't. First of all, tapioca is not dough. But it turns into dough. I knew there was dough in no. there somewhere. So you're wrong two times, not only once. You were the one who was like, I, there's no way that it can go from hot to fucking balls in my mouth all cold. No, because you said fried. Boiling, fried, bro. Is it, is it when, you, when you fry something, isn't it boiling hot? Think about it. Yes, bro. Do the math. Damn, you're right. Quick math. Cause that's how you fry stuff. Yeah. Isn't bo no, you fry and boiling oil and boiling oil, tomato, tomato. I was half, I was half right. How is Boba made? <laughs> and boiling oil. Yeah. <laughs> no boiling water. <laughs> what about boiling oil? <laughs> Stupid words you're making me say. See, don't tell me to say anything about Boba. All right. So I don't want to say anything about Boba. You love it, dude. Tapioca balls. That's tapioca what it balls. You it's kind of crazy that they're boiled though. Like it's hot. It becomes yeah. hot first and then they become cold. They're almost like translucent too. I always thought they were like gummy bears. Like almost like, <laughs> I was like, they just don't make them berry. They don't make them like a little bear. They make them like balls. <laughs> you know, oh, you're funny today. <laughs> but did you think that? or just Berry? <laughs> like, like you don't make them look like a, just don't make them look like a bear? Yeah. And then they're just. Yeah. 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 I, I honestly, that's what it was. <laughs> just don't make them berry. <laughs> just, like the CEO, he's like. Can we get into the topic? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> CEO just walking around. He's like, less berry, more Bali. <laughs> We're making Boba here, people. <laughs> I got an idea. What about we take the gummy bears? Just don't make them look like bears. Boba. <laughs> Boba. <laughs> just put everywhere. Wow. <laughs> Boba. Bro, that was like some LeBron fucking. <laughs> bro, my knee is drenched in your masculine sweat. Sorry, bro. That and wasn't spit. sweat. I was pure spit. Pure spit. All right, Jesus Christ. This has been a very. All right, listen, 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 listen. I have a, I have a, something I want to say before we get into this. So we're about to dive into these current events, these like topics that are that are happening around the world right now that are taking the internet by storm, right? And we're gonna give our hot takes on them. But I have a question for you before we get into this because I want to continue this segment, but. I'm very curious to know your thoughts on this. A lot of stuff happens that a lot, this is, I'm just saying what other people have said, uh, things that I've read, right? This isn't necessarily my opinion. I just wanna know your thoughts. People have said that when a big event happens, that a lot of it is a distraction for what's really going on mm -hmm. in the like, in the like, in behind the scenes, essentially, like the government and stuff like that, you know? What are your thoughts on that? So I like, think it's correct. You think so? Like, for example, like the sum, uh, the, the submarine, submarine, right? Like that happened for like three, four days. There's a bunch of back end stuff that was happening. Yeah. I heard somebody say like, uh, always follow the money, right? Yeah. So like, if you are so like investigated with something, like try to see where big money is being moved around or like that's where normally shit's going down in the back end. Yeah, that they sure. don't want us to like know. Bro, a thousand. I don't believe in like Illuminati. This is my take. I don't believe in Illuminati, but I do believe that there's powerful people out there that do make some like yeah, power moves. There's a lot of people out there that are very powerful and that have been powerful from Family to family, yeah, to generational family. wealth. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. 
I do believe that. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. If I was this huge, powerful family and yeah. I come from generational wealth. Yeah. Like, it just, shots. it just makes sense, my boy. It's just crazy to think like they use, they use us to distract yeah. us for, so they can do their, their dirty, their dirty work. It's kind of yeah. crazy. If that is true. I don't know. I mean, yeah. you know. But I don't like to talk about, well, I, I do, but like, I always like to say like, but if that submarine stuff was true, which I do feel like it's true, mm -hmm. like I, I do feel sorry for those people and their family, right? Yes. Unless it didn't happen. Mm, but I'm ooh, assuming that's, it that's did. a bull take. You know what bothers me, bro? But, I, but I'm, I'm assuming that it did. I, Have I met the, one of the, the family members? No. Right, right. But I'm sure there's somebody out there, right? <sighs> Okay, I but, obviously you're a, you're allowed to think that, right? But I think once it starts, I, like, okay, for example, this is a perfect example. I saw the other day um, one of Michael Jackson's sons was having a birthday party. I saw and, that, and there was a guy that was there that was like dressed in long yeah, sleeves like and a, hat. He looked like a white guy. Looked like an older white man, yeah. right? And people were saying that's Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And they started making like a big thing about it, right? And I just started thinking about the kid, Michael Jackson's son. Like, imagine he had to grieve his dad dying, and now the media is joking that his dad is still alive and is hanging out with him. Yeah. And and this for us to think that it's just I just feel like man, it's kind of fucked up, dude. It like, is. You know what I mean? Like, if that was my dad that died, and then people are saying like, "Yo, like this," yeah. making this like a turning into something else, it just would really suck, man. It would suck. I'm assuming. Now, I'm assuming they're used to it. Yeah, of I course. Think, I think getting to so a point too. where they just but like, get a kick human, out man. of it. They're still human. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. What were you gonna say? No. So that just ties into the same like submarine thing. You know, I get it. Like, oh, maybe it didn't happen, right? It's fun to like kind of like talk about, but most likely it did happen. Most likely, Michael Jackson's dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I'm kind of, yeah. because I get it. I'll buy into it a little bit too. I'm like, ooh, fucking yeah. autism also, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, just got to be careful with it, yeah. right? Because, yeah. For me, and like the submarine thing, like I'm not going to like play it down because if, if it's true, and I, I think it's true, but if something happened, like I feel very, very bad for, for, for those family members. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know, a lot of people are always like, fuck those millionaires or billionaires yeah. or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I get that. I get that too. But I also think that there's way more topics that you can talk about that you can make go viral mm -hmm. and and spread awareness. Yeah. Um, you know, there's so many other things going on that actually suck even more. <laughs> yeah. Right? I get you. So, but yeah, I, I, I did think like even like the second day of it going viral, because this was like, what, two, three weeks ago? Yeah, this is, all, this is like older <laughs> yeah. news. Um, I, I completely said to myself, or I think I said it to my wife, I was like, there's something else going on. Yeah. Like, what's going on in the government? Yeah. Huh? And as much as I like to like read about it and hear everybody's conspiracies, and I, I do, I do listen to it because I do get a kick I, out of it. I do too. Kick out of it myself. I do too. At the end of the day, I go to sleep knowing that I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because I can't do. It, it doesn't benefit me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To get so consumed by yeah. it is what you're saying? Yeah. You can, I, I'm the type of guy that like I, 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 I can consume content, but I'm like, at the end of the day, I don't care. Yeah, I get you. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, did you see the King Kardashian? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh cool. that's crazy. You have opinion? Yeah. Don't give a fuck at the end of the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I wonder... There are certain things I do, though. Really? Yeah, like, I, like, I, don't really know, have, I, don't, I don't know why. You can't why, give me an example. But, but it has to be something that's like morally correct. Yeah, I got you. Like something that you really like. Something that I'm passionate complete, about. For or, example, like the child trafficking and yeah, like the whole movement stuff. Yeah, like that's because there, there's things that actually matter. Right. Right. You know, there's things that I get a kick out, kick out of, and then I'm like, okay, at the end of the day, I don't care. Yeah. But then there's things that there are online, and I see it. I'm like, then this is crazy. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Yeah. Okay. But right. at the end of the day, I can think that myself. That doesn't mean I have to talk about it on social media. Yeah. Right. I'm just telling you like real life stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so but yeah, that was that was interesting. It was an interesting thing about the submarine, mm -hmm. and I feel bad if that if it imploded. Do you understand what it looks like when things implode under? Bro, me? they said it happened in a, like a millisecond. Yeah. So like their brain didn't even process mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. Like they just were just dead. They, they were just were like damn, like already probably terrified. Yeah, because I'm sure they knew something was going wrong. And then boop, you don't exist anymore. They don't exist. Deleted. De literally delete all delete like that fast that fast that's so sad that is not even all delete just delete. that is horrifying yeah that's scary man but uh, i don't know if i want to say that i'll say like we're all gonna die right yeah. 
if I could feel no pain in the process of it, I'll choose that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I saw this video not so long ago and you know how like there's a guy that that goes up to you in your car and he goes like if you oh, have a yeah. nice car, it's yeah, like, what hey, do you do what for do you living? do for a living? It wasn't that guy, but there's another guy that did the same thing. He went to Paris Fashion Week and he asked this guy and I thought it was so cool that he said this. I don't know. I'm just. You know. I know where you're going with this one. I and, saw this one too. And you saw it? Yeah. And he was like, yo, what do you do for a living? And then the guy goes, try not to die. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then he said, how's that going for you? Yeah, he, he goes, goes, great, or whatever yeah, he yeah, said. Yeah. But he goes, try not to die. <laughs> I was like, that is the realest like, sentence ever. Yeah. Anyway. And like, it all boils down to that. Like, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, another topic that I want to talk about, and that's really weird. Do you know the Island Boys? Did Dude. I send you that? Is, that's real, right? I don't know, but it is. Okay, so everybody knows the Island Boys. I They're twin brothers. Yeah, I think it's kind of cringe. Who got famous off TikTok. Yeah. Primarily for being like crazy looking. I'm just going to say it, right? They got tattoos. They're, they're twins. They got the, they had the crazy Rugrats hair from, uh, what was the girl's name? The the Phil? No, the, the doll that had the crazy Angelica? hair. Angelica? Angelica's doll. Do you remember Angelica's doll? Oh, um... Cynthia. Cynthia. Like, he had that hair like Why that. Why do I know that? Because you're a Cause 90s kid, I'm a kid, huge boy. fan, my boy. <laughs> and I'm a 90s kid. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so uh, they got famous off of that. They really got famous off the song, the little, like, rap song that they did. I'm an I'm island boy. I yeah. kind of fuck with it, low-key. That song was kind of fire. This guy did a rendition where he did, like, on piano. Yeah. And I did, like, a parody to it on TikTok. and went viral. Anyways, they got famous <laughs> off it. And they actually reacted to it, the island boys. Oh, yeah, which, I remember you telling yeah, me. That yeah, that was kind of interesting. But anyway, so they uh, were rappers. There are rappers. I don't know. I don't know um, what they are. They really were just like riding the clout that they had. Yeah. I don't know how they had all this money, but they were always like in nice houses, nice cars, all this stuff. They were on the Logan Paul podcast. They like walked out because Logan Paul was questioning them saying like, yo, what are you going to do when all this like ends? Like, what are you guys, what are you guys doing financially yeah. to just stay ahead and make sure that you guys are protected? Uh, and now they are irrelevant, so to say, right? Like nobody's talking about them. Sure. And they're, they started an OnlyFans. And they're like, they're like, they're doing stuff with each other for it. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. So what we're talking about guys is we saw a video of the Island boys and I'm sorry that I'm talking about this because I feel bad because a lot of people back at home watch it with their kids and I'm not saying anything bad, but I'm just saying like, I apologize because I, I don't like to, point, I don't yeah. like to talk about that. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Yeah. But they're kissing each other. They're brothers. Yeah, they're twin brothers. They're twin brothers and they're kissing each other. It's so disturbing, bro. It's like, oh, God, you know? I don't care about two men kissing. I don't care about that. The point is, you're kissing your brother? What, like, what is that? And the fact that you know that they, the reputation that they have, they're just doing it for attention. They're literally just doing it to gain attention. How low can you get? That low. That low, bro. When I saw the video, I sent it to you. I was like, yo, what? My first thought was, oh, it's like an AI thing. I don't know. Yeah. It's fake. Right. No, it's not. It's not fake. And then there's another video of one of the island boys kissing another, another guy. guy. Like pecking. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But what is that? This is fucking weird, man. It's so weird. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Dude, when I saw you, when you sent me the video, I literally felt sick to my stomach. I've never like, seen. What is this? I've never seen anybody with that type of kind of like social media presence do something like that yeah they would tease it a lot because even before they started diving into this whatever they're doing now people would send them questions like saying like hey you guys should like kiss and then they would be like guys we're brothers that's like weird i saw that one yeah. Dang, i didn't think about that yeah and now they're over here i don't know i just think it's wrong i mean at the end of the day like Tongue bro you're, you're like a human yeah like you know like where's dude they have they I mean, I don't know their like situation, but I mean, they they essentially hit rock bottom. I get, yeah, you know, yeah, um, I don't know. yeah, I, I, yeah. And but I, at the end of the day, I think they're trying to like they're trying to do whatever they can. Yeah, but at the end of the day, even with me, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the next topic. <laughs> um, so, a new app just came out called threads. threads yeah and it's like linked it. to instagram are I you like a fan it. did you yeah i, I like added it. I you by the way yeah, you haven't had, no you didn't i did oh, did you probably not <laughs> did you follow me i don't think so dude nor will i ever my <laughs> yeah so I, I followed you fool it was i think it's fun but like what, what do you really think all right so 
I think it's cool, yeah. right? I think it's dope app. I love the fact that it's connected to your Instagram. Me too, it I was just about swaps to say that. everything over. It's easy. Like it's cool. You you get to keep your um your username, your yeah. tag, all stuff. That's one thing that that's sweet. And I think the way that I thought about that, I was like, damn. Well, there's not gonna be a nice sell us. Yeah. But I was like, oh, it links to your Instagram. Instagram. It's yeah. like boom, boom. Yeah. It's, it's almost kind of like, all right, that's your Instagram. You verified. Like we verify you that that's you, mm -hmm. boom. And I like that. Yeah. And it was very easy to use. Mm -hmm. I really did like it. I like that too. Um, and I think a lot of people like that. I think that was that's why it was a big success. I think what is a hundred million people already. It's crazy. But I will say this: I don't see anything truly too special with it. It's just an extension off of Instagram. Sure. It's just like like if Instagram just allowed you to like if there was like another little section where you can just see people just writing their thoughts, the same people you follow versus like and this is just my opinion. I think the app is great. I don't really care too much at the end of the day. But the thing I like about Twitter is that you can completely like reinvent anything you want. Right. Like with uh, with threads from what I'm getting, it's like you're just using your Instagram as like another outlet to like voice your thoughts versus like with Twitter, bro. There's all these other accounts that just like specialize in like whatever it is. Yeah. And it's just so unique. You know, there's like a new way to like grow. Basically, what I'm saying is like I go on threads and I'm just seeing the more of like more stuff of the people I've already been following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's not really anything like that's grabbing my attention. I, I still like to go to Twitter because yeah. I feel like there's like new stuff happening. You yeah. know, granted it. It's brand new. It's brand app. new. It's brand new. Twitter yeah. is how old now? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So you I, get my point though. Yeah, I, that, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I get your point, and yeah. everybody's thinking that too. Um, there is a way to put like gifts and stuff on threads, but I they don't have like a gift kind of like way to do it. I think mm. you have to insert it yourself. Oh, like copy and, and paste. Yeah, that's why I was like, "Where's the gifts at?" Gotcha. Like, that would make it a little bit more fun. But yeah. I'm not gonna say anything because the app just launched. Yeah, but you're a big. You're a big thread guy. No, I'm more of a Twitter guy. I still, I think I still go Twitter yes, over threads. Yeah, same. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I do think it's nice, and I think it's a good extension on Instagram. Guys, let us know. Now, mind you, I don't, you, I don't really utilize uh, Twitter to tweet, and yeah. I don't, and I don't really like thread my thoughts. Is that what it is? Threading your thoughts. I could be. Hey, but I have threads. Follow us on threads. Yeah, I have. We haven't made too. one for La Plática either. We will. Elon Musk against Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was just training with Mr. Stylebender. And, yeah, that was uh, kind of crazy. Oh, I forgot the other guy's name. But yeah, he's like really... Do you think it's really going to go down, the actual fight? No. There's no way in hell, bro. There's no way. There's no way. In this world that we live in nowadays, There's you don't no, think but, that but maybe. the top three most richest men in the world go Stop. at it? You know where they want to fight? It'll be the most craziest thing, pay-per-view... They'd probably say, fuck pay-per-view. I'm making my own pay-per-view. Yeah. They would probably do their own thing. Yeah. They'd probably make a billion dollars. I I honestly think they'd probably make more. Yeah. I don't know. They want to fight at the Coliseum in Rome. Isn't that crazy? I think it would happen. I, I, I honestly do think it would happen. I don't think so, bro. This couple that's on social media. Yeah, that's who, the topic I was going to bring up. Oh, The Jonah you? Hill. Is that what you were going to say? No. Oh, go ahead. I was talking about those people that do the podcast. Oh, my one gosh. One of the guy, the guy. Adam 22. Yeah. And Lena the Plug. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane to me, dude. Okay. Let's they're calling him a cuck. And that actually makes sense in this context that they're using it. Got in. it. Let's go on a quick break and then we can talk about that. All right. Damn. The cuckery. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I was just out of salute. Honestly, no, no cap, <laughs> no cap. Uh huh. Um, that's probably my top three favorite. Honestly, yeah, top three favorite flavor of the arsenal that you carry. Damn. Um, um and I love that it's energy plus focus. It's my favorite. I honestly, I can guess your three now that you just told me that. What? Sandia number one. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think of it course. is. Yeah. Right? No, uh, I'm trying to be like non biased. Non -biased. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes, it is. Yeah, it's bomb, dude. It's bomb. And I, we've talked about it before. I was like, you fucked up. You gave me the best. <laughs> like, Sandia is like the best up, flavor. Nah, bro. <laughs> um, but 
Oh yeah, so the that number one, one. That one's that was number one, and obviously, that if I am being biased, that's my baby. That's yeah, our baby. Yeah. Um. So, but it's it, it's insanely good. Insanely good. Um. Next. I want to. I'm gonna say Hamika. It was. Oh, but then replaced. Yeah. Okay, then I got it. Lemonade. That one's really good, and it's new. So, I really I drink that one a lot recently, yeah. but it's not. It's not number two. No. So this is number three though. That's number. Th- yeah, two or, two or three. Okay, okay. Because I'm drinking that a lot right now. And it's fairly new as well. Is it an energy? I think it's hydration. Oh. I, but I think I think you made it into... into. Um, it's only Jamaica and Pepino Limon that we've made into energy. Oh, then it's hydration. Mango? Nope. Okay, I don't know. Those are the ones that I hear you talk about the most. That's why. Straw? Nah. Yeah. Not a chance, bro. Yeah. The strawberry? Yeah. Is in your top three. Fresandia. Oh, that's the energy. That's why I said I, you, I think it's an energy. We have a we have a uh, we have a fresa hydration, a strawberry hydration, and then we have a fresandia yeah. energy. The my my top one is fresandia. That one's fire. You know, and that's then our- fresa is really freaking incredible too. Yeah, I, don't know, I, I just like strawberry and watermelon. Yeah, that's our number one seller on Amazon. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insanely good. Yeah, and then that one right there is is. Yeah, that one's I really mean, good. who doesn't like pepin limon? Pepino limon. Yeah, so it's fire. the drink. Yeah, but yeah, we were talking about this YouTube couple. I don't know too much about them. They're not really in my space. Um, but I've been hearing a lot about it. And basically, it's a couple who do OnlyFans, and they've been, I think, the the girls, or the wife now. Yeah, they're married. They just got married. Within a year? No. Recent? Yes. Like, a month or two ago. So, well, actually, probably around the same time me and Karen got married. Nah, dude. Sorry? They're not that newly they married. They just married. They just married. So, anyway, so they just married, and this couple is known to have an OnlyFans, and it's a guy and his partner, the girl. Um, and normally before everything, they used to do OnlyFans just for themselves. Just mm-hmm. themselves. And I think the girl would do it with other girls. But the whole thing is, I'm or, not trying to get too into it, but the whole thing is... Or the podcast. Don't forget to mention the podcast. Plug talk. They started a podcast. And we've talked about it, I think, in, yeah. a, in an episode a long yeah. time ago. And when I say this, I don't care what they do. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just giving my opinion and my perspective. And so are you. So they have a podcast now where they interview people. They talk about, you know, obviously it's either going to be a porn star or probably only another girl, girl that does a OnlyFans as well. Explicit OnlyFans. Yeah. I like having sex. Yeah. And like everything. Um, so they're known to, it's the guy, his girl. And it's always another girl. It's it's never the opposite. It's right. never another man. Never. It's never him, another man, and the girl. Or the girl or the guy. But just as of last week. Uh, maybe two weeks ago now. They decided that after they got married, that she's going to film with another man. She and did. they already did. And that man is another famous, um, let's just say, corn star. Yep. And he's a very famous guy, so it made sense in their business, I mm-hmm. guess. Um, but that is insane. It's insane because I've literally, I've kind of been following like No Jumper Adam Twenty Two for a while, like since he was yeah. interviewing like underground rappers. Like he interviewed XXX Tentacion. Yeah, like that's when I was. Really, yeah, yeah. I was really. I, like I, res- a fan. I respect the guy. He does his thing. Yeah, and now he and he completely pivoted into a brand new direction where he was leaning into like the OnlyFans, and he was like, he still does all the podcasts and stuff, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he not he like completely is engaged in. Like, he's essentially a porn a corn star. In yeah. his own way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I've heard him talk about on on one of my favorite podcasts, Flagrant, uh, Flagrant 2, he would he was like, This is the this is our system, right? We bring in a girl and we all like yeah. hook up with her, right? But I would never let another man do that to my wife. I have I have made he way said too much. That. Yes, dude, on Flagrant. Oh I yeah. Know he said that on the podcast. And now the trajectory of like where he's yeah. at now, what what, what what what's interesting is how much he's like leaned into it. Yeah. 
yeah like he's like really all about it and like saying like off the wall stuff just yeah. really like lean like trying to maximize and I, I get it this is purely a business move probably how he's viewing it but man yo that's tough man people I, will go to the extremes won't they and i mean we just talked about the island boys literally kissing yeah, exactly this is another one of those it's I feel. twin brother yeah that is so extreme and then you have this couple who are successful in what they do mm -hmm. but that that's just something i just can't comprehend okay i got a hot take on this all right and maybe it's not a hot take but you know what they're doing is not completely like brand new like no, there's a bunch not. of people that participate in like swinging and stuff like that right yeah. it just happens to be that they both have platforms and they're both like known so it's just like they're very, they're being very highlighted in this moment but a lot of people do this the, yeah the thing is that but they've highlighted not having segs yeah with another man for yeah. such a long time yeah. so the point is is that it's finally happened yeah and the world is going berserk yeah yeah it's very interesting it's 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 i don't know my whole thing is honestly i don't care too i don't i don't yeah give two chetas but it is very interesting to me that um right after you get married and they had a kid they have a kid and everything and there's even an interview where he says yeah who am i to tell my daughter when she's you know 18 not to have an only fans or whatever and whatever like that's your daughter you know you're gonna say whatever you want i'm not anything i'm not gonna put my two cents either i worry about my own stuff but that's just i don't know do we live in that type of world now where that's acceptable i don't i don't know about acceptable but i think it's just what people are just how it how it is and i will say too i also think like the way they were kind of like conducting their lives already this is my opinion you know it's kind of like a gateway into like more crazier stuff like bro already what they were doing interviewing girls right and then like hooking up with them and on OnlyFans. that's just the start of it like how do you top that right so it's like why don't i get my wife to like allow you know let my wife hook up with another man and then now what now he's gonna be hooking up with another man like where does it go he it, i saw another interview because i'm telling and you he said he would never do that no he said he they had an interview with i think it was aiden ross yeah and aiden ross joked about doing it to her as well and he goes yeah we can uh, i think adam was like kind of like pitching that like yeah we can both do it or something like that Ooh, and he was kind of being serious gosh. and then aiden at the end was like yeah i was just kidding I just wanted to see what you would say but like yeah you're right um the guy adam he's like leaning he's like oh know, my god that's he's probably playing along with it i don't maybe, know what he's yeah, doing but yeah. at the end of the day it's just like bro if you if your whole objective is to make millions and get people to talk about you you did it man congrats yeah. but like at uh, what expense that's my question like exactly. at what expense like only only he's gonna know what he truly feels and yeah. if he's okay with it then i mean i guess at the end of the day everything's consensual nobody's getting hurt so be it but as my own person over my dead body this not is, gonna happen this is a girl that you've had a relationship with for many many years right obviously you've been hooking up with her and other girls all the time but this is your girlfriend that your wife you have your baby your the 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 mother of your child child and you let another man do that <sighs> like that's just insane i don't know why dude like like it me lastima. Yeah, me like too. it hurts it's, my it's, it hurts me. It's, like it's insane. It's I wanna sad. know what everybody thinks down below. Obviously yeah. not right, but yeah. I don't know. It just honestly I feel even stupid just giving them my two cents right now and giving know. them my time because it's I just know. like, you know, but like I said, it's just hot takes and it's just like things that are going on in this world. Yeah. In yeah. the social media space. So yeah, it's very interesting. It's thing. fun to talk about. It's yeah. fun to talk about when it's something that's just like completely not you. Right? 100%. But yeah. still it's like that's just insane to me. I would I will say this, and I think he is probably going to realize this if he hasn't already. This is going to... I think he's already regretted it, honestly. I think he so, He probably too. doesn't want to, like... It happened already. It's done. He even said, he was like, I was okay with it. And then, like, after I knew that it happened, there was a part of me that felt a little weird. And I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Hello. That's a whole... That whole situation is weird. And the guy is, like, six foot five very good looking black dude yeah. with tattoos everywhere mm -hmm. blasted and he's 
freaking huge he's buff yeah he's huge. so like you know that might cause a little bit of an insecurity don't you well think? she already talked about that dude oh see i didn't see that she said there's so much i don't yeah, know Yeah, it's all it's been on my tiktok and stuff but basically she was like how do you want to say it bro it's like kind of like disturbing this is not if you want to like, i think the whole thing's cringe yeah the whole thing is just weird it's just it's just weird but for example it just it, makes it, me wonder how other like man like we're just when, we're all similar but so different at the same time i mean how's dinner time at that table i don't know bro there's no way that you just don't feel a certain type of way yeah, and now that they're bringing in a kid into this world, right? They're gonna teach her. They believe, just got married too. Yeah, like what the what what is their household gonna be like formed from, and hey, what you, is the norm, and what like you know what I mean? Hey, you know what? The best of luck to them. If they're a type of couple that can do that, I don't think I will ever. I, I don't know think anybody would ever not anybody there are people out there that's what i'm saying there are people no, out I, there. I get yeah. that i get that um but if they can do that i'm sure they can figure it out <sighs> but that is just insane that's wild to me I, man. that's wild duh but hey look how many people are talking about them everybody plan worked yeah plan worked but still he even said it himself I feel like I know. <laughs> I was like, you know what he said? <laughs> he said, if I knew how viral this was going to go, like I would have done it sooner. I should have done it sooner. Like there, there's no way I would have ever let myself, like now knowing like he would have never stopped himself. Like how much attention this has garnered. Like he's, he's even more like, whoa, I should have done this sooner. Yeah, but look at the image that he gave himself. Exactly. Yeah. You know, people might disagree with the things that you're doing before that. And now that you, you know, that this happened, like, one has to somewhat respect their own image. How about just yourself? That's what I'm saying. Yourself, your image, your... Yeah. That's crazy, bro. <sighs> it's almost, like, heavy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I feel bad. I know. And, like, I don't know. Just... Next topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a lady on a plane recently. Did you see Saw that? Saw that. And that person is not real yeah it actually kind of she freaked was, me out a little bit she was in disbelief there was terror in coming out eyes. of her eyes bro can i tell you something i don't like stuff like that like when it comes to like i do you do because yeah. i feel like it's like almost potentially like demonic spiritual yeah. and stuff yeah. and that's where i'm like ooh, that shit so i don't know too, what it is feels too real supposedly she wasn't drunk by the way then no uh, she i think she was i think a week ago there was a flight leaving dallas i think it was dallas or houston i i don't, I don't know um one of those there's a lady on the plane right before they're gonna take off everyone's already seated already she gets out of her seat i'm sure everybody already saw it she's like that man is not real mm -hmm. along those lines anyway she made a big deal she was saying that she, he's a what like no she didn't say what he was mm -hmm. right but somebody else came out with another video saying i was right next to them and i recorded the whole thing and he kind of gave his take did you see this and what he said was yeah everything that you saw that's exactly what happened um the guy that she was talking about didn't say too much he was just very quiet just looking at her it seems like he's saying some words to her but it's making her freak out even more mm. so she gets out of her seat and she, she's just basically telling everybody that this person is not real there's something wrong with him and basically get me out of here i heard the story was she had airpods they fell and then she couldn't find them so she started blaming the guy next to her and then that kind of turned into her like freaking out oh wow i didn't know yeah that. yeah maybe that's the real one i don't know bro so this guy said that all of that happened she gets escorted off the plane right yeah um and i think they escort no i think the guy walked, they escorted everybody off the plane everybody oh yeah had a, yeah, yeah you're right had a check for you're right the guy things. that that guy that she was talking about walks by him he said turns around looks just looks right at him and he just went like this, like gave him a blink, right? And he said that that was kind of creepy by, by itself. But then a couple seconds later, he realized that he didn't blink like this. He blinked like this. <laughs> like a like a like a like a reptile or something. Yeah, it's, there people online are saying he's a reptilian. Damn. Do you believe in that stuff? Uh 
I'm, I'm gonna say no. Shapeshifter? Yeah, I mean, I get it, but no, I don't believe in it. No, no. no. But spiritual stuff, dude, yeah. That's the stuff that hits me in the heebie jeebs. Damn. Yeah. So that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> he blinked that way, G. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. Do you believe? Do you believe? That person is not real. Do you believe that that happened? Uh, I think the girl was on some shit, bro. That's, you think so? I think she was like either drunk or and she started freaking out. She had a panic attack. I'm gonna say something kind of weird right now. You ever have these like weird thoughts that kind of enter your brain, but you like obviously you're human, you can control them, but you almost want like you almost feel like snapping sometimes. I feel like some people actually pass that threshold and snap, like go crazy. Do so you think she might have had like a panic attack? Yeah, or I think something? she started freaking out, and I think she, there was some sort of substances involved. My whole thing is, why isn't there a video of her talking again afterwards? Yeah, like, hey, I'm the girl in the video, or did she? Who knows? Like, hey, I was kind of tripping, you know, maybe I did some shrooms or something. Yeah, and I thought it was a good idea. She snapped, bro. She snapped. Girl snapped. So you think so? I think she snapped. So the guy's innocent. He's not the a reptilian? reptilian. No, he's chilling. All right. Okay. <laughs> You had a couple too. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the the Jonah Hill incident, which I think was really interesting. Wow, I saw that. Yeah, so basically the famous actor Jonah Hill, he's been in a bunch of movies. He had some text messages leaked from his ex-girlfriend, basically showing how uh, the kind of relationship they had, right? Yeah. To put it like kindly. But he basically started telling her how uncomfortable- Screenshots of text messages. Yes, how uncomfortable he was with uh, some of the po photos she was posting in bikinis. Mind you, she is a professional surfer uh, and a lot of her content is her surfing. So she has a lot of content in like bathing suits. Um, and every, anyways, she started releasing the messages. This was a year ago, by the way. I, I didn't even realize he was in a new relationship with like, he has a baby now. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. With her? No, with another girl. Oh, so sure. this is like super old news that she's just like releasing now. Oh. Yeah, this isn't recent. That's kind of messed up of That's the girl what, then. When I found that out, I was like, huh, that kind of kind of doesn't change things, but it's a little interesting. Like, why, why are you doing this? It feels like there's more of a motive behind it. For sure. Yeah. Than just like. Guys. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. Don't yeah. put people on blast like that. Yeah. It's mean. I get you. I even agree. Though, no, I totally agree. Even though there's probably some insecurities and she probably went through like an emotional relationship with him maybe it felt like it was a little toxic yeah and i get that but i think honestly i'm the type of guy that I, things like that you keep in your relationship private a thousand percent that is so messed up too when you're in them and even when you're out of and them. i'm not saying i'm team jonah hill no i agree but like when it's about your relationship and the things that go down you know the ugly because everybody always wants to post the the, the nicey nice right mm -hmm. but like the ugly stuff in people's relationship like bro keep that between you guys i agree right Forever. Yeah, I agree. But he, he, one of the text messages, the one that's going like more viral than the other ones, it's like he's listing his boundaries, right? He's like, uh, like if you cannot yeah, not, yeah. if you cannot not post in your bikini, uh, what was the other ones? Like if you have to have relationships with other men, stuff like that, like things that he was just not comfortable with yeah. that were like, and I don't want to call them controlling because they weren't because he literally was like, yo, this is where I stand. If you can't honor this and maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship. They were a little excessive, weren't they? Very excessive, especially when you realize that like when he hit her up, the DMs, he was like commenting on one of her photos that was she was like in a bikini. Yeah. Like and so the things that he was like attracted to her about, he wanted her to change. Like that's where I'm like, yo, like that you can't I don't know. You, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't change people because like they don't I don't know. Now that you're in a relationship with them, you want to like have more control. Like it doesn't work like that. He's probably very insecure at a, uh, you know, in the beginning of his probably, well, yeah. he's probably an insecure guy. Yeah. Um, I do believe though, that people should identify their boundaries in relationships. Like, Hey, this makes me feel uncomfortable and stuff like that. I get it. But I don't know, bro. The way I think the way he did it was like, dude, these things that you are saying that she can't do is like how you accepted her. It's how you brought her in. You can't set these boundaries now. You know what I mean? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have been with her in the beginning knowing how she was, how she is. And but, she, do, she didn't even do anything wrong. Yeah, I was about to say that. The boundaries are, are, weren't anything. But they're, everybody they're, has their own boundaries. Sure, but like those boundaries would actually make sense. The boundaries that she was, he was giving her didn't. Yeah. It was basically like, don't do anything. Yeah. It, it was, was basically super excessive. delete your Instagram. Yeah. It was only text me, basically, type, yeah. of, type, type of stuff. Yeah. That was actually kind of weird. I didn't know the, the fact that... They're old, like a year that, old. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So that's kind of messed up with the girl. If that's so, people true. were saying like, is this like a publicity move for her? Like, is, I well, don't know. obviously, could be. You know, it's very petty. Yeah, but but I agree with you. At the end of the day, your relationship should be kept private, yeah. especially situations that like you're going through, working yeah. through, and you know, I yeah. don't think you should be like leaking that kind of information. That's, that's just not a good look on anybody's part. You know? Yeah. I wonder what he thinks about it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's, me it's messed up. Um, you know what's really what bothers me? This is the last thing. What bothers me on social media recently? I bet and it's a viral sensation oh, and fool. everyone's doing it. And it bothers me, bro. It bothers me. I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Happy birthday, Grimace. Oh, uh, the milkshake thing? That Don't tell you? me you're going to do it. No. <laughs> but that bothers you like that? Like you care that much? I just think it's the most. By the way, I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I love Grimace. Don't you dare start with McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I love Grimace. Love me a Big Mac. Epic. Let me get some fries. Oreo McFlurry. The whole thing. I'm sure the Grimace shake is good. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But the point of this challenge is you go to McDonald's. I'm assuming it's Grimace's birthday. And they made a special shake for him. And it's purple. I don't know what it tastes like. I'm assuming taro. Um, so the point is like, you say, hey, I just got this shake from McDonald's. Uh, happy birthday, Grimace. That's literally all you say. You take a sip. And then the next scene is you being possessed by the drink. And it's spitting out your mouth. Kind of like having like a seizure. Yeah. it's it's Some of them are actually very disturbing. Not really, because every video I've seen has like shitty quality and it's not very cinematic. <laughs> it's just kind of like. So you're more mad about the effort that people are putting. No, into I just don't. I don't get it. Yeah. They, um, I, I get that they're making Grimace seem like he'll possess you. Yeah. Or even before that he's just this type of character. But I don't get is it am i am i old no i don't think so i think it's just yeah a little bit <laughs> but I, you know what i've become really good at on tiktok is uh i really try to uh, control my algorithm as much as possible so like if i'm not into that i just click not interested and then like my algorithm does not show me stuff like that oh cool. i'm really good about I'm that start bro. Doing like that. any little thing that i'm like i did not like this video at all i make sure i don't put like i'm not interested like i'm like this is i don't want to see this kind of content yeah i like really I try see, to i see that purple shake put, yeah just put not interested I'm going to. Yeah. I get you. I don't really find it a big deal. <laughs> do you know who Zach King is? On on uh he was super big on Vine. He used to do these like special effect videos that were like kind of like trippy, illusionist. He's sick, bro. He did one where like his was actually really good. He took a, a slurp and then he exploded into the shake. That was sick. But it was like very like we're talking about like cinematic, artsy, like special effects. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah. Like, I don't understand, like, the conversation that an individual will have that says, hey, do you want to do the Grimace challenge? Yeah. You want to go Grimace it up? Like, I want to see somebody, like, get into that conversation and be like, hey, you want to do the Grimace challenge? And, like, just go through it. Yeah. Like Some people just, you know, you play the trends, man. Yeah, you're right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and you know what? I'm so sorry. You're, you're suck, bro. Am I being a, a grouch? You're being a Grimace, bro. For everybody back at home, if you did the challenge, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think you are. I'm being a, uh, I'm being a. You're sipping on that haterade, my boy. Grinch. You are. Getting old, dude. Well, you know, I can have the things that I like and the things that I don't like. No, I get it. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Get over it. <laughs> Good episode, my boy. Ninety-eight. La plática no caps, and make sure to enter the giveaway. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. Um, that was episode ninety-eight. We got two more to one, honey. Ooh. What, honey? Yo, okay, listen. I know you're going on a trip. You're on your little like, dieta and shit like that, right? We get it, fool. You're trying to be skinny. Uh -huh. But on 100, we're taking shots, my boy. Oh, 100. We got to celebrate. We got to do LP style. 100. No guests. We can, let's bring a guest next one. 100, no guests. It's us. It's me and you. We in the trenches. We in it. We're going to do some island boy shit. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Uh, don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, thank yes, you so sir. much for tuning in. Once again, you can hear us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or here on YouTube. Um, Sebastian, the Josh Leva. You can find him on Instagram at the Josh Leva. 
Ahí se va. La plática pod on social media as well. Instagram. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I probably already made the thread as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, enjoy your guys' weekend. Beautiful people. Thank you so much for being patient with us. Honestly, yeah, thank you. But we post them every week, though. We ain't going to miss. Don't worry about us. I get it. <laughs> the most delicate. I don't want to hit you. No, again. Oh, damn, your wedding ring, bro. I don't want to hit you. You're going you to give me all. Captain Planet. Look He's good. our hero. Is that you? Yeah. Goodbye. Let's go, dude. <laughs>